On 25 July 1943, Italian Prime Minister Benito Mussolini was dismissed by King Victor Emmanuel III. He was arrested and kept in custody by the government of the new Prime Minister of Italy, Pietro Badoglio. He was being kept in custody in Hotel Campo Imperatore in Gran Sasso area at the highlands of Abruzzo which is in the middle of Italian lands. The plan of the government was to sign an armistice with Allied forces and fascist party leader Mussolini who was close to Adolf Hitler was a great problem that shades over the plan. When Mussolini had become the prisoner of Italy's Badoglio government, it was Otto Scorsini whom Hitler personally assigned to rescue the Duchy. Scorsini had been a lieutenant colonel in Hitler's elite guards and the commander of elite commandos, Fallschirmjäger, who were known as Green Devils. He was intelligent, cunning, courageous. His face, ice blue eyes, saber scarred chin, thin contemptuous smile, was a symbol of Nazi fanaticism. Scorzani ordered his deputy Karl Radl to select 50 of his Jag Verbon 502 commandos for the mission. They were the paratroop branch of the German Luftwaffe before and during World War II. They were also the first German paratroopers to be committed in large-scale airborne operations throughout World War II. The commander of the branch was Kurt Student. General Kurt Arthur Benno student was in overall command of developing a paratrooper force to be known as the Felschemacher and as the most senior member of the Felschemachers commanded it throughout the war. On 27 July 1943, Skorzeny and General Kurt student flew to Rome and met with Field Marshal Albert Kesselring. Two days after, Skorzeny's commandos and elements of the Luftwaffe 11th Air Corps established a base camp, close to Rome's Pratica di Mare airport. But it would tacky a couple of hours to plan and start the operation. When it is the 8th of September 1943, Skorzeny and Radl conducted an aerial reconnaissance of Gran Sasso where Mussolini was kept in custody. At the same time the Italians were signing the armistice and trying to isolate the Germans in Rome. Scorsini prepared a rescue plan for Mussolini. He refined the rescue plan to attack Gran Sasso by air by using 12 expendable DFS-230 gliders which can approach to the hotel's area in silence. Later he would get support from Major Otto Harold Morse and a parachute battalion to secure the lower end of the funicular railway between the village and Gran Sasso. On 12 September 1943 the attack force was airborne. Skorzeny in the third glider took the lead when the first two disappeared in the clouds. They landed onto the top of the Gran Sasso with success. When the feet of the soldiers on the ground, the Operation IEP has started.
On 12 September 1943, the attack force was airborne. After landing, the operation started. Skorzeny was ordering so, I expressly gave orders that come what may, no person was to open fire before I myself fired the opening shot. Should I be wounded or killed, then the first shot was to be given by one of the officers accompanying me. It was certain for him that no one expected an attack from the air and this was their one and only chance to success. The Fallschirmjäger and Skorzeny's special troopers overwhelmed Mussolini's captors, 200 well-equipped Carabinieri guards, without a single shot being fired. General Fernando Saletti of the Italian African police, who flew in with Skorzeny, had told them to stand down. Skorzeny attacked the radio operator and his equipment and stormed into the hotel, followed by his SS troopers and the paratroopers. Mussolini was saved after a bloodless savage attack. He went out from the hotel with Skorzeny and the commandos. Photos were taken to make it he time deadless. Faces were smiling. On the photos, German officers and Italian officers, German commandos and Italian carabineries were all together. But, lack of radio contact with Rome removed the planned aircraft extraction of Mussolini from the L'Aquila airfield. The last option was for General Student's personal pilot, Captain Heinrich Gerlach, to land his Fisola 156C-3 Storch next to the hotel, pick up Skorzeny and Mussolini, take off, and land at Rome's Pratica di Mare airport. 30 minutes after takeoff Scorzini and Mussolini landed at Praktika di Mare, transferred to a Heinkel He 111 medium bomber, and flew to Vienna, Austria. The remaining commandos burnt out and and destroyed the gliders that had been used in the operation and damaged. They were to be transported from the area safely by Major Otto Harold Morse and a parachute battalion that secured the lower end of the funicular railway between the village and Grand Sasso during the operation. The operation had been conducted with no casualties and in an unpredictable secrecy and silence. Adolf Hitler welcomed Mussolini with a ceremony by himself. At the 13th of September 1943 Hitler called and congratulated Skorzeny for his success, awarded him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, and promoted him to Stormbahnfuhrer. 